Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is AI7HE. I'm going to be demonstrating a quick tutorial about how to um, use an Echolink slash IRLP repeater, how to connect to Echolink nodes and IRLP nodes through DTMF. It's kind of the general guidelines overall, but um, this might be different um, slightly for you. Um, in your situation. I'm listening to an Echolink and IRLP repeater here locally in Phoenix, Arizona. And I'm just gonna demonstrate how to connect um, to Echolink and IRLP notes. So here we go. Um, first you wanna do is identify your, um, basically identify with your call sign. So here we go. AI7HE. Connecting to Echo Link. So identify your call sign and then enter your DTMF node number. So now we are connected. Um, and if I were to uh, make a call, I'd just do my call sign. So now let's disconnect. Announce your call sign to make sure that um, people on the air listening to you know who you are. AI7HE. Disconnected. Now we're disconnected. All right, so I was just connecting to an Echolink node. It's literally the same thing if it were um, me connecting to an IRLP node. Um, the announcement on the repeater will be a little bit different, um, but it's literally the exact same. You announce your call sign, uh, which is a good practice to do anyway. You then enter your DTMF node number, whether it be Echolink, IRLP, um, and I guess this applies to All-Star as well, um, without unkeying. And then once you enter, when you, once you completely enter that DTMF node number, then you let go of the button almost immediately. Um, and the, um, the repeater should connect to whatever node you're trying to connect to. So anyway, that's a quick tutorial. I'm in a parking garage right now and I got to go to class. So uh, 7-3 guys, and we'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching.